everybody can be great. Because everybody can say. Coming into the school, we didn't have any murals. We didn't have anything to promote a college going culture. We didn't have anything that would remind me of a traditional or typical elementary school when I first walked in. Everything was very bland. Schools are anchors in communities. Schools are a safe place for families and kids to go to. So partnering with schools, Kaiser Permanente and schools together, is really the formula that's necessary to create healthy communities. When you come into an elementary school, kids should want to be here. Sometimes visual is the way to pull people in and then you get the hard work done. It's like family. It's family here even before my son got here. It just always felt like a family. And we kind of take responsibility for each other and all of our kids at the school. Everybody has a different place. Ms. Turner's a mom, Mr. Hernandez is like the dad. And all of our kids, you know, they're, they're, our, they're our kids. There's like a thousand plus kids. Every child needs something different. We're making changes instructionally, uh, socially. Uh, we're more ingrained into the community, getting my parents more actively involved. So we're transitioning from working as a standalone entity into more of a community environment. I'm really big on uh, giving people the opportunity to change. In Barrett, we are trying to form and move forward as a unit, as a community. So this year we're working really hard along with all of our staff, everybody from the bottom all the way to the top working together to come to and and work towards a you know a common vision which is to move our school forward and to increase our student achievement and one of the ways that we're doing it like today is beautifying our school making our school a better and positive place for kids to come because when kids come to school to a place that's safe and clean and conducive to learning they will learn if we want to make communities healthier places for for everyone Schools are central to that. I came to help my school. It's been me lately very messy, but I think if we actually um, work together, I think we can make a beautiful school. Do you like painting? Yes. Yeah? Oh my god. I painted mushrooms. I painted two fishes because it was his day of Martin Luther King Jr. MLK has always been a day on, not a day off. It's really great to work for Kaiser Permanente that allows us to go out into the community and volunteer and give back to the communities that we serve. So what we did is we cleaned it all up, stripped it down, LAUSD helped us out with that as well. Dug out all of the garbage, put in brand new soil. We added all the nutrition and uh, we planted along the line of the fence. a lot of things that have to take place to make this project happen. We are doing a library. We are basically creating one from an unused classroom. Today we are building a brand new upper elementary school library by installing five separate murals, four within the space and one on the outside. We're turning this entire wall into a large oversized bookcase. So we're going to have each individual color is going to become its own book with a real title that the librarian down Sarah's already picked out for us. My name is Daryl Fukushima, a librarian aide here at Charles Barrett Elementary. When, when I first came here, this library had so much work to be done, and I told them, no, it's like this library is not finished. Every library I've left, I've always left it better than when I first came here. But here, there was so much work to be done. They're so happy when they, when they see me, they wave at me, I mean, they tell the teacher, it's like, it's a library day, when is our turn for the library? When is our turn for a library and that stuff? They get really excited coming over here. And to be able to check out books and, and read books and stuff like that, and it, it, it does make a, a, an effect on them, actually. All right, who knows what we're doing here today? Yes. Planting plants. We are planting plants, not just any plants, we're planting California native plants special to live in California and thrive in the soils of California. So this is a California native plant. First things first, what are we gonna do guys? We're gonna dig a what? Oh. Yeah, he's like a crane with his hands. We're gonna crane it out. Go ahead, make a hole. All right, test that out. What do you think? Woo! Is it fun? Kind of. <laughs> you good. Yep, turn it upside down. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, we're loosening the roots so it can keep growing. 
uh, when we're able to kind of um, meet our partners in the middle um, and understand kind of something they can do and what can we do that might be unique or but still within our artistic temperament it, it felt like this was something that we could add to and that, and that we could work with and that we understood um, what was going on in schools. Hey! Um, so what we're doing is for the Barrett Beautification we're working on making some desks really beautiful for their upper uh, grade library and then now we're doing the final coat of lacquer hopefully somewhat resistant to children gouging it up again. New desk. You'd be amazed at how many of our students do not have books. There is an incredible amount of uh, joy when a student gets a book. So, wow, los colores que están poniendo como que te hacen sentir como bien relajado. Mm -hmm. Pero yo pienso que se van a emocionar mucho cuando miren la, la librería arriba. We, we see that in terms of long-term health, that people who mm. are, um, can read, who have high good high literacy skills, live longer, they're healthier all around. Community helps educate everybody. We learn through our parents, we learn through our teachers, we learn through our peers. It takes partnerships that are willing to come into our communities uh, and it's easier said than done. Staff of Barrett's been really great partners and LAUSD, you know, really has, um, uh, was, was a really good partner as well. So we went from a classroom that was unused. We didn't start with a, a blank uh, slate. We started with a room that needed to have bookcases removed, the uh, dry erase boards removed. All of a sudden we found holes behind those dry erase boards. So now, that, now you're talking about getting walls patched and getting them ready, getting the surface ready for a mural so that the muralist would have a, a blank canvas that she turned into a magnificent you know, piece of art. But just to get to that process was a, a, a collaboration of many uh, individuals. Our superintendent had a vision to create pathways, new pathways for our students. My role with Kaiser Permanente Wealth Counseling and Learning Center, I work a lot with, uh, with students. A lot of the things that we focus on in my role is, is to ask students what they want to do when they grow up. Uh, Kaiser Permanente thinks that's really important because when a student, especially in this area, sees themselves in the future, they're more likely to protect it. And what do you want to be when you grow up? Paleontologist and YouTuber. Why paleontologist? Get rich. That's good enough for me. All right, well, thank you so much. We're in this together. We plan together. They put resources in, we put resources in, and it's really that working together that creates the magic for what we have as a shared vision, supporting our children and being the very best that they can be, helping them dream, helping their dreams come true. This is a STEAM Academy, and the A in STEAM stands for arts. So we really wanted an opportunity to help um, solidify that idea of how important arts are and how um, the arts, when you bring the arts into any situation, um, you can transform. You can transform a room, you can transform a life. Um, that that engagement is really critical, I think, to the health of any, any strong community. Just to kind of get our kids to dream. You know, we tell kids you can be anything you want to be, but I don't know what I'm dreaming for if I don't have any examples of what that is. Everyone in this room is going to make a difference in our society because of what you're doing. My name is Dr. Wanda Austin, and I am a STEAM hero. As a child that grew up in the inner city, I didn't have role models. I didn't see examples of African-American heroes. And so I'm truly honored to be on the wall of heroes, of STEAM heroes, because I hope that it encourages young people that they can be whatever they want to be with the education that they're getting here at Barrett in science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. It will ensure that they can achieve their goals and be great STEAM heroes themselves. What's important is that a lot of times with our programs, um, we might only be able to be here for a day or a week um, in some cases, maybe a little bit longer, but with a project like this, we get to live at the school. The message continues uh, forward for many years, and it's something that uh, hopefully will you know, exist a lifetime.
you want to be important, wonderful. If you want to be recognized, wonderful. If you want to be great, wonderful. But recognize that he who is greatest among you shall be your servant. That's a new definition of greatness. By giving that definition of greatness, it means that everybody can be great. Because everybody can serve.